Hi everybody, hola mis amores. I am Laura, proud army wife here in the great state of Texas, based out of Military City, USA. And today we are gonna be talking about a great collaboration with Lily Pulitzer and Disney. Yes, today's theme, I have my Minnie Mouse ears on for the 50th celebration. Today's theme is Lily Loves Disney. Amigas, I'm going to share the collaboration that I was able to get my hands on because it was hot, 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 caliente, flying off the shelves, phone lines were busy, but your girl here, she was able to score all the items she wanted and I'm ready to share those with you and we're going to have a little bit of story time because I want to share with you the most special memory of my visit to Disneyland twice. And this is a must do, a must do tour. If you visit next time, or if it's your first visit to Disneyland, you've got to do this. So I'm ready to share that with you and reminisce. So grab a drink, grab a snack, cause we're going to chit chat about the most happiest place on earth. And I'm ready to share that story with you. I'm in my Cinderella room. So we're going to make dreams come true. All right, amigos, welcome into my guest room. This is what I call the glass slipper room. The paint is by Sherman Williams, and I just fell in love with the color. So when we went to Disney World last year for the first time, it just inspired me to go ahead and decorate this room, more of the Disney theme, because I guess that typically stays with me. She is a Disney fanatic, and so I just thought it would be the best thing to do. So this way she has a little bit of magic in this room every time she comes and she stays and visits with us. So this is my theme here. So you can see some of my little decorations that I've got from our travels to the magical places of Disneyland and Disney World. And I just think it's really cool that Disney and Lily Pulitzer did this collaboration. This was released in April of 2022. So this is already about three months ago. But these items are still available if you look like on Poshmark or eBay, you can find them. Now they are going to most likely be about double the cost, but I do still have my little price list. So I'll share those prices with you because in case you are looking for them, you'll kind of know how much they've over marked the item for if you really are interested in getting this, getting some of the pieces because they are still out there. But all of the items, they for some reason, were released online through the Disney website for a short period and they all sold out. So of course they started to get out there on the resale market. And then in April, I believe it was April 14th, I'm looking at my notes real quick, they were able to release it then, um, like pretty much open to, I mean, open to the public pretty much in general where you actually had to call the Disney Springs store in Florida, which was kind of ironic because this is the Disneyland collaboration but we had to call the Florida store in order for you to purchase any of these items because they were not released online. Um, also, what I love about Lily Pulitzer is that they do offer a military discount when you do go and shop in store, but since it was a phone order, they weren't able to process it, at least for me, I tried. I did try getting the military discount, but I was just happy to actually get through because I called like over a hundred times to see if somebody would answer and my husband, I swear that man used to buy like lotto tickets because he called on the very first try and he got through. So thankfully we were able to place the order. I was able to get the items I wanted. And then when I hung up, there was another item I went back and found because I was just going by what was pictures online of what looked like was there. And then I called back and I ordered another item. So let's get started with some of the pieces because i've actually got a lot of them here already in this little bag and then in my other one the first one that i want to share with you is this cute cap okay so this is a really cool little baseball cap and it has this portion here that you can adjust and this one was the disney around town $48 so this one was 48 bucks I'm gonna go close up so this way you can see the print here and you can see the really really pretty magical castle of Cinderella 
you have the beautiful print of like the palm trees because it's the collaboration of Lily since she of course is from Florida and you, of course you've got Walt Disney World, Lily Pulitzer is from Florida and so they did this beautiful um, print that they actually had done by hand and you you can see online if you search it's like a beautiful like watercolor and so they made this gorgeous little print of Mickey and Minnie they're at this little you've got the citrus you've got citrus in here they're at like the little stand you have reflections of the Palm Beach for Lily because of the Florida heritage so it's just iconic you've got the iconic Disneyland um, landmark of the castle and you've got Lily Pulitzer and look at that you see Minnie just all sassy beautiful colors of peach yellow a very light blue and this cap is just super super lightweight I still have the little um, piece in here so let's see. very comfy very cool um, for you to use but I think it is just super cute for whether you're on vacation or next time you visit like Disney, this is a perfect, perfect little cap. These are some really cute leggings. Again, with the beautiful pops of color, with the fuchsia, the peach, you've got the citrus, like the oranges or grapefruit. It's just like the citrus. You see that beautiful castle print, look at that. You see that beautiful castle print, Mickey. Hey, how cute. And it has pockets on the side. So in case you are jogging, you're running and you have a pocket back here. So it's spacious enough to fit. You could fit a phone in here. It's just the one. You've got pockets, so you have pockets on double side on both sides, and then you've got this nice lightweight sheer, like kind of a breathable material here on the side. But look at that, just so cute. And Minnie, there she is. Look at that sassy lady, sassy sassy lady. Okay, these leggings were called the Weekender, and they were hundred and twenty eight dollars, and they are nice and stretchy. They do feel nice and light, very soft. You know how sometimes some leggings, um, like you want them to be soft on the inside, on the outside, that's these. The next one in our little baggy bag is this cute notebook. And it had the print again of Minnie and she's got her little drink the palm trees, the beautiful pink flowers, the castle. I believe they even had like a pin. You've got a nice little pocket here on the front front little page and you've got lined, lined pages. Super cute. This one was $18, this little notebook here. Next one is, this is what they called the fin top. So you have this nice, which is a traditional style that Lily Pulitzer does. They usually have a nice, um, you know, print up at the top and then you have a nice white print down at the bottom. And then you had this special little um, patch here with Mickey's face and these really pretty lime, sea foamy blue colors. And of course, just the pop of color of the orange, the pink, the beautiful, um, signature palm trees from Lily and then the sleeve just a regular sleeve it doesn't have the little hole where you can stick your thumb through this is just the regular what's the traditional fin top and she does this really really cute because it, she always does these with really fun prints but she also makes this um, in different collaborations as far as like either different states or cities because I saw that she's got one for like a Texas edition, maybe like a Florida. Really, really cute. But this one was a really pretty one that she did for the Disney collaboration. So the Fin Tops run 78 bucks. Next item is this cute little wristlet case that again has um, Minnie and Mickey. 
the pops of color and this one has the castle in the back and it also has it in the front on the far side so this is super cute it's got a little pocket a little pocket here on the inside i think this is perfect i've been using this to actually keep my camera so like it fits like my small camera you can actually fit it in there um so like when we travel i've just actually been keeping it as my little um, camera case i've been using it for that but this is great let's say if you are going to go to the pool um like with you've got the hoa you have your local pool within your subdivision you can pull your you can put your like pool pass your key because we have like those key cards it'll fit in here your my phone will fit in here also you know you can throw in your house key um some small cash all of that will fit here especially if you just want to go like to your local pool or whatever this is a cute nice little lightweight pouch that you can just you know throw in everything anything that you need to fit in here a little lip balm something like that that way you can easily carry out some things so i think this is cute for when my husband and i do go to the pool here in the neighborhood okay next item is this cool little tumbler and it's got again all the prints nice little straw this is a nice other little uh, cool tumbler especially if you want to um, keep it like at your work or if you are going to go to the pool or fill it up or outside this is a great little cute little tumbler with a nice little like a fluorescent colored pink straw so this is super cute and this tumbler was 24 bucks is a cute little dress and this one has all the print again it has this little open back and for me it kind of fits all the way down to my knee um but super cute lightweight this is a really nice i got this more for like a pool cover up and that's what my purpose is to intend to to use this not so much really for going out but really more of a, a pool cover up is what i wanted this for they had some cute little shorts that um had like a really they were short though they had like a little scalloped edge on them and i thought they were the cutest little thing but Miha, my I've got thunder thighs. I've got no business wearing those shorts, so I passed on those. But there was another dress that had a little bit of like a cap sleeve, but I really wanted this more for one that I could just throw over my swimsuit for when we are on vacation or when we do go to the pool. And this one was 128. And this one is called the Kristen. This is called the Kristen dress. Next item is one that I had already completed my order and I went back and I was looking at the pictures of what people had posted online and then I saw this and thought no let me call back and get it thankfully I didn't have to wait as long the second time around but I'm so glad that I got it because I've worn this I wore this um, when we went to um, Mexico and normally when you're on the flight it's always usually kind of cold so I went ahead and I wore this with me and psh, when we got in Mexico, that hot, humid heat in, in Cancun, whoo, I could not wait to get out of this thing, but it's got a cute, nice zipper. So you have like a three quarter zipper. And this is actually the U, um, UPF uh, 50. So it's got like that sunscreen, nice sleeve. Just cute print for this. I think these are just so cute. I just love it because you see the colors, but you really have to pay attention to see that it is the Disney, like the Disney print, especially if you're familiar, um, you know, with Lily, you've got the nice, beautiful pops of color. That's just tradition. And you see the palm trees, but then you really take a look and then you start to notice the Disney print of Minnie and Mickey. And I think this is just the coolest thing ever. And I got this, yeah, I got this one in an extra large. That dress I got in a large. I should have got an extra large, but I'm glad I got this one extra large because I figured like if it's winter or whatever, I could always just like layer it. So I wanted it a little bit loose, but this is, oh, my favorite. My favorite, favorite piece from the collection as far as um, of the item to wear. This I can use on vacation. I can use next time we go to the park and it is the backpack you have this cool lightweight 
backpack with this gold handle trim. Look at that. Gold handle trim. A little bit of it, the cushioned um, pieces back here for the straps just in the same beautiful color, the print, the zipper in the front. You have the side pocket to put like a water bottle on both sides. And look at this. There's even another zipper inside. I haven't even checked all of this out. So it goes down about three fourths right here to this like half, actually halfway. So you've got another um, pocket on the inside. Very nice and deep. Very nice and deep, this backpack. And you've got the beautiful gold um, Disney Parks collection, Lily Pulitzer. Super, super adorable. Adorable, amigas. I'm telling you, as soon as I found out that they were doing this collaboration, I said, I've got to, got to have it. Look how little oranges. You can even think it's like a grapefruit or an orange, but I think it's so happy. That's what I love about these Lily um, Pulitzer prints is because they're just happy. For, for us here, for me, especially in Texas, it's hot. And I just, these are the colors that I gravitate towards. Is just very fun, light, colorful, pastel colors. I'm not really one that sticks to like blacks or whites or browns. I am all about the color. The jacket I have on, this is Lily Pulitzer. This is a nice denim jacket that I could not pass up. Look at the little, um, just subtle poof here on the sleeve. It stretches like crazy. Cause I'm like a size 12 and I got the girls, honey. So I've got this and a large and it fits. I just went ahead and had some fun, put some pins on. This was one that we got in Florida when I went um, back in November. So I am looking forward to our next trip. Hopefully we will be able to go back again during this 50th anniversary celebration. These ears, I ordered them from someone on Instagram, but I, was not happy with how they did their sales because they were not upfront as to truly when you place the order, like what the expected delivery time would be for them. So these never came in before I left. And so thankfully I was able to lend them to a friend of mine who went in like January at least so they could get some use. So she was able to wear them for her trip over there, but I never got to wear them. So I'm hoping that they um, will be able to go back, but it has the world's most magical celebration on the back. You've got Mickey and Minnie here on the front, but it's from an Instagram account that sells them and they're nicely done. Of course, you're gonna pay for them because I think they were close to about like 80 bucks, but you know, so I'm wearing them for the video. But the ones that I did get there, when we were there, of course, in um, like the Disney Springs, <laughs> Look at these. Miss Minnie with her earrings on and the bling and the flowers. So this is the ears that I ended up buying and wearing while we were there on our trip in November for Disney World. So at least I have these and I've got some pictures wearing these beautiful little ears. I'm gonna wear them because it actually goes with my little outfit. And I ordered this on Etsy. This was a shop that had the little um, Chanel with the um, Mickey Mouse ears in rose gold because as y'all know I'm a rose gold fanatic so had to at least sport this for our little you know video today so this way we've got this little theme going on for Mickey and Minnie. It is story time time to hear about most favorite thing in Disneyland that you've got to check out next time you go let's see Cinderella's castle share with you this perfect tour that you have got to got to see if you are going to go visit Disneyland please check out their website for their tours and see if they are offering it because they might I think when I checked earlier it looked like they weren't offering at this time but please keep an eye out for it to see if they run it again twice I've gone to Disneyland 
The first opportunity I had was in 2017 because my husband is a reservist. So with the reserves in the army, we have what we call yellow ribbon events. So the yellow ribbon event is for you to meet the other families when they get deployed. So this way you have a community that's built. So this way you don't feel alone. You have a support system for when your spouse is deployed or whether it's your son or daughter, whomever your the military member is, the yellow ribbon event is there for the families. So I was able to take a really good friend of mine. She's a sister in Christ. I asked her, I said, hey, do you wanna go with me to Disneyland because it's free. They're gonna pay for every, well, they're gonna pay for everything for us to actually visit California. And she says, I'll go with you. She goes, but can we stay extra days so we can visit Disneyland? I was like, yeah, absolutely. Of course, let's do that. So she took care of everything as far as making sure of what we were gonna do, what to see. And she found this tour at Disneyland that they offered that is called a walk in Disney's footsteps. And it's a must that you have got to see. In order to appreciate the vision, the dream that Walt Disney had in creating Disneyland, hearing the story, it is a must. And it, the cost of the tour is so worth it. I highly recommend that if you are traveling with a group of girlfriends, whether it's a group of guys, whether it's your family, if you're adults, if you're traveling with your spouse, your significant other, this is by for sure a tour that you have got to check out. It's not one that you normally see kids on. It's really more um, older people over 20 and because of the cost, plus if you have a big family, it's expensive. But if you got the funds to do it, I by all means, please do not pass up this opportunity. What it covers, I, it's about $109, and what it covers is a tour. You're hearing the history about art, um, Walt Disney's um, vision, and you are actually walking throughout the park, and you have an earpiece on, so you have your tour guide, and you are actually hearing you know, Walt telling the story of how he was building Disneyland, the things he was going through, opening day, you know, press conferences, you're actually hearing him and what he was saying as he was building Disneyland. And they take you all throughout the park. You actually get to go on a few rides. You cut in line. The tour guide takes you ahead of the line. You get to go through, I think the first time we went to, um, it's a small world. And then we went to Alice in Wonderland. So they take you on a few rides where you, um, they put you through the head of the line and you just go ahead and get on. And the tour guide is explaining everything, the history about that particular ride that they're doing. And Disneyland is magical. You have to appreciate it. A lot of people, they go for Disney World because Disney World has all these other things that's different, but Disneyland is original. And that's where Walt stepped foot. He did not step foot in Disney World when he it was made because he had already passed on. So Disney World literally has his, Disneyland, sorry, literally has his blood, sweat, and tears. So when you go on the tour, they're gonna give you a badge. They'll give you like a little patch like this that you'll wear. So it has your name. Um, and then, actually, this actually was probably from your lunch. Maybe that's where I got that sticker from. But you do get a badge with your name on it, so that way the tour guide knows. But this is the pin. It's a collectible pin that they give you. And so you have like this postcard, you have Walt, you have like this book, and you have the iconic image of Walt and Mickey. And you just have this beautiful collectible pin that they give you. And this is part of um, what the tour entails. So it's the tour, you're hearing Walt, you get lunch, and they sit you over um, right kind of like in the mainland area and they will sit the tour finishes so that way you can watch the afternoon parade and you're right there they section off the place so you're you're having you're enjoying lunch and then you're watching the the noon parade it is just fabulous for the amount of the money you cannot pass up the opportunity to take this tour but it gets better okay in 2017 when my friend and I went, and I will do images, um, I'll do shots, I'll, I'll put them in uh, for the story time. 
we had the opportunity to see the Dream Suites. Oh my gosh. Those Dream Suites that they have is just absolutely fabulous. So the Dream Suite there in Disneyland is over in the area where like it's like the Mardi Gras in that section where they've got the little Mickey Mouse beignets and the French Quarter and the apartments are upstairs and the tour at the very end they were like let's go ahead we're going to be able to take you in there because there's nobody staying here for the night and if you're familiar with the dream suites i didn't know about them they cost thousands and thousands of dollars in order to stay in there and that is where eventually they built that apartment like for walt and his family like his daughters for them to stay there and that room is, the suite is magical. It is absolutely magical. They do not allow you to take pictures when you go in there. The only picture that you are allowed is at the very end. And that is by like the fireplace mantle to where you can see the image of the castle that they kind of built um, Cinderella's castle from. So that's the only picture that you were able to take, but they take you into the rooms. They take you into the living area. There's a train that goes around on the very top in, in one of the rooms. The bathroom, it's like mosaic. And it was hilarious because I walked in and there was a button like in the shower stall. And I was like, oh, here I'm being, if he's going, I'm being nosy. And I go and I press that button and I was like, hmm, okay, nothing happened. So I walk out and I go into the next room and then I hear somebody on the tour, wow, check out, check this out. Look, it's glimmering. So I run back into the bathroom and when I had pressed that button, the tiles, the mosaic tiles in the in the shower, they it was like stars, like it was just lighting up, just, you know, sparkling, twinkling, like twinkling lights, twinkling the stars in, in the evening at nighttime. It was just so, so cool. And I just, I can't even explain it, just to be able to go in there and see that, when are you gonna ever have that opportunity, right? So. I thought it was just fabulous that we were able to actually see and visit the inside of that dream suite and to take a picture. And let's see if I can. So my friend did this for me for Christmas um, as a picture book from our trip. Okay, let's see if you can see. See the room. This is the inside of the dream suite. And you can see where the reflection of the castle is there. This is the only picture that they allowed to take inside right there. Look at that. Super, super cool. And this is just a fabulous, a fabulous memory that I'm gonna like cherish forever. So I'm so grateful and thankful that she gave me this picture, this picture book. Um, because that's just special of our time there. So we go in 2017 because my husband was deployed to Iraq. When he came back, thankfully he came back home safely. And then in 2019, I decided to take him on a trip for Veterans, um, Veterans Day weekend. So we went ahead and um, went to Disneyland. He had never been to Disneyland, Disney World, anything like that. So I said, well, I'm gonna take you and I'm the one that plans the vacations in this household. So I finance them, I plan them, everything. That's always my gift to my husband, any vacation we take. So for Veterans Day, we go ahead and I plan it and I went ahead and did a four day pass. So if you're military, please be sure that you visit your ticket and sales office because you wanna get those um, tickets discounted, okay? So make sure that you check your, um, your ticket sales office so that way they can hook you up with all the deals. So we go, we get a four day pass because I said, I need you to take your time and enjoy the park. So we have two days in Disney and two days in the California Adventure Park. So my goal was for him to experience the walk in Disney's footsteps so that way he could see like what I saw and enjoy, enjoy the tour. And so this is November of 2019. I could not book the tour before we left. So they had said, as soon as you walk into the park, the very first date, go directly over 
to the area where you where they actually do the tours because it's like a nice little white gazebo once you pass through the front it's still over towards the left so i went straight over there and i asked them i was like when do you have availability for the tour because from there i was going to base my um, scheduling between visiting both of the parks and they said we actually have a tour availability to tomorrow so i booked it that tour i mean of, of course so i was already familiar with what we were going to be able to get to see but my husband was just you know enjoying it when they ended that tour i so i asked I actually asked the tour guide i said hey i said by any chance um at the end of this tour are are we going to be able to go in and, and see the dream suites i said because the last time i came a couple years ago that's how we ended ended the tour and he goes i have something better for you he said um he goes we actually now end the tour by taking you upstairs into walt disney's apartment above the fire station <laughs> i was like oh my god that is just the coolest coolest thing so you can't believe like you can't even imagine my excitement when he said that because i thought that's awesome because now i'm i'm gonna get to see something different so i was excited but i kind of also felt like dang my husband's not gonna be able to see the dream suites and those are cool too right but still i was thankful that they were giving us an opportunity to see something different within you know within the park because that's closed off so we do the tour at the very end they're like okay we're gonna go into um walt disney's apartment so you go behind of course the gate that says cast members only they take you back there you go up these small steps to go upstairs and mind you we are in november so come november disneyland is already decked out in the core of um christmas and okay so we were there on veterans day because i wanted him to be there on veterans day and we did the tour did we do the tour veterans day i can't remember um but that is when they film the christmas specials so they film in florida and they film in california so they have to shut down certain areas of um of the park because of the fact that they're going to be having the the filming and you've got the production crews everywhere so um, both times that i have gone to florida for um veterans during that veterans day holiday they are filming just fyi in case in case you are <laughs> wanting to be there when they do the filming of the of the christmas special that they end up showing in december they film it in november so anyway Back to the story, Laurita. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. Okay, so they take us up into the apartment, and you kind of get to the very top, and you walk in, and you see the apartment as to where um, you have the section where Walt slept because it was twin beds. So Walt had one um, side of the area where, because it's almost, think of a studio apartment. So they have the small little living area, and then you have the, um, the bed for um, Mrs. Disney. So on her side of of the room of kind of like the bedroom area you had pictures of her and her family on Walt's side you had pictures of him and his family you still had like the old little grilled cheese machine maker the coffee maker like the the items that he used in the little kitchen um all of that stuff like all of that is in there it's just nostalgic like the record player and when you visit the park so when you go of course to the uh, fire station you know the window up above it's they have a little lamp and so that's how when walt disney was around that's how they knew he was still around that he was still in the park because the lamp was always still on so that was kind of like the signature that he was still that he was still there um if it was off then of course then they knew he, that he would have left for the day so they leave the light on for him of course as a uh, you know significance for him and, and honor and remembrance for walt disney so the lamp always stays on there in the park but during christmas they um take out the lamp they move it um they put it away and then they actually put a little christmas tree so the christmas tree is there in place of of the actual lamp so you could see that and it's just being in there to be in that apartment and there the tour guide oh my gosh she's i i don't want to even get emotional but listening to him and the stories that he was telling about walt and um the the musketeers that were in there on opening day 
So these stories were truly special because you're hearing them tell you the hard work, the blood, sweat, and tears that Walt Disney put in to make this vision a reality, to make it the happiest place on earth. And it's just the most iconic thing that you could, you know, see to be in there, to be in that small apartment where he where he lived because he was pretty much living there in the park in order to just be there, make sure everything was running. And it's just beautiful. And I think out of both of the parks that we've gone to, I really, for me, Disneyland is special because of the nostalgia, because he actually walked, that he actually, you know, his footsteps are truly there in Disneyland. And that to me is just the, the special, the special place about um, visiting Disneyland versus Disney World. And if I were to choose between the two, I would choose, I would choose Disneyland because it's easier, it's more convenient, but hopefully I'll be able to do a video as far as my suggestions between Disney World and Disneyland. And uh, maybe that'll help for those that are interested in, in visiting these magical places um, here in the States. By all means, if that's something that you're interested, please let me know, put it down in the chat, and I'd be happy, happy, happy to um, give you my feedback about the parks and and share what we did because I made it special for my husband and we took advantage of seeing like the shows, the restaurants, because you know we always think we never know when we're gonna get back. So when we do go somewhere, I make it special to where we're gonna enjoy it and make the best of it. So hopefully it's something that you will consider doing next time on your next visit. If you've gone before and you've experienced this tour, let me know what was your favorite part. So if you happen to visit the park and my little story time has inspired you to take the tour when it becomes available, please let me know. Please share with me. Let me know what you enjoyed about it. What was your favorite thing? Was it the best thing you did while you were there at the park? And if you found something wonderful that I need to see next time I go, please share it with me because it is truly magical. And I, I think everybody should have at least once in their lifetime experience, you know, one of these parks, whichever one is the most convenient um, for you. But by far for me, Disneyland is very special. Maybe God willing, you know, in the future, I'll be able to visit the ones, you know, that are across the pond as my husband says and we'll be able to visit that soon but thanks so much for joining me today and letting me share these items with you if you're able to score some of these or if you you actually purchase some of these lily pulitzer disney items let me know would love to hear you know how you're enjoying them and hopefully you'll be able to um, wear them especially during the summer please stay cool we've been in a very hot advisory heat advisory here in san antonio so hopefully you're enjoying the summer and staying nice and cool hasta luego amigos Very quickly, I'm gonna share with you some of these souvenirs that we picked up in Disneyland um, when I took my husband in 2019. Here you can see the really pretty castle and then the um, very famous um, Ferris wheel from the California Adventure Park. Cute ornament. I was hoping to find something like this when we went to Disney World, but I could not. But I did get another collectible 50th anniversary um, ornament from there when we went and of course the Disneyland mug from the Starbucks inside Disneyland you can only get these mugs in Disneyland so if you go to California Adventure Park you're not going to get the Disneyland mug in there you're only going to get the California Adventure Park so as soon as you see it get them because they they sell out this is the um, cookie jar that we picked up um, in Disney World which is actually Cinderella's castle so I have it, I just went ahead and placed it here for the video on top of my little Lily Pul um, Pulitzer coffee, coffee table book. And this is the Hallmark stand, ornament stand, and the Cinderella ornament. So I have her here on display in my glass slipper room. And of course my little book with my Disneyland memory trip from 2017. But I just love 
all my little collectible items here in my glass slipper guest room. Thanks for watching. Amigas, let's do some quick gem candy for today's video. I've got my watch of the day, which is the Invecta Limited Edition Mickey Mouse with the CZ bezel, mother of pearl face, two-tone strap with my rose gold Tiffany hardware piece layering nicely with the yellow. And of course, we've got the um, love bracelet and then my Constantino pink sapphire matching pink sapphire ring for Constantino. And this is part of the Barbie Rocks edition. These are the Barbie bees um, in the shape of a butterfly. This is very significant because that is my um, last initial for my, uh, my married name. So this is me and my husband. And then the other limited edition um, Barbie Rocks piece, this is the rose gold Barbie head sassy girl with her ponytail in the pink sapphires and i've got my rarities rose de france pieces with of course my lapel pins and then my rose gold mickey mouse shirt mm -hmm.